Hey guys, welcome back to the GSP YouTube channel. And uh, today, by popular request, uh, here is how to fuel your nitrous setup. Um, in this case, uh, obviously, since we're doing fueling with the ECU, this is going to be a dry setup, which means that the injectors are what's adding fuel to supplement the nitrous. Uh, if you had a wet setup, you would not actually use uh, any kind of fueling stuff. You'd be doing that with jet. I um, want to say special thanks as well to Jay for letting me use his data log. Uh, this is a uh, pass at, I believe, an eighth mile drag strip. We've got three gears here to work with, and uh, it's going to be hopefully some really good data. So I've got a, a point picked out. This is actually at the end of third gear here. We can, we can pick any point in here. It doesn't really matter. And um, what I want to try to explain here is that, you know, first things first, uh, I've, I've split this up into three different graphs so that I can illustrate this a little easier. You can overlay this on one if you want to, but um, the the short version is first make sure that your AFR actually meets the target before you go making fueling decisions based off of it. Um, it's all well and good for you to do this math out your correction and everything, but the problem is, is if it doesn't actually uh, meet the target, then none of this is going to be uh, valid. So you know, in this case, this purple line is our, our AFR, and this uh, teal line is the target, and it follows it quite well. Uh, this is a closed loop did a really good job here. Um, so, basically, there's there's three things you need to watch right here. You have your base fuel, which is how much fuel the engine is going to need whenever it's in A, and we're not adding any additional oxygen, so you don't need to to uh, which would be in the form of nitrous. So you don't need to actually add any fuel. Um, the dry fuel adder is how much fuel um, we added intentionally for the nitrous. The fuel flow is the actual amount of fuel that was flowing through the system after closed loop compensation took over. So in this case, we got 5% closed loop comp, and that tells us that we're not quite there on the right amount of fuel. So 215 pounds per hour plus your 70 is 285 pounds per hour. But we actually flowed 302. So what that means is that we're roughly 15 pounds per hour, in this case 17. We're roughly 15 pounds per hour off in terms of how much fuel we needed to flow. So the simple correction here is just to go to your tune file, go to the nitrous ICF right here, and scroll down to your fuel enrichment. This is a progressive setup, and at this point in Jay's pass, he was at 100% on his progressive. So what I would simply do here is just grab my cells that are at 80% to 100 because the solenoid is going to be, uh, it's going to kind of flatline up there above 80% and set this to 85. And then I'll do something, you know, kind of kind of cool like a fill row values or something like that to make an assumption. And what you have to do is go through here and do the same exact thing at all your different duty cycles. So if we came through and did this same math at 50% duty cycle and saw that, um, you know, we needed 60 pounds per hour at 50% duty cycle to match the fuel flow up with these two numbers. Again, base fuel plus the dry fuel needs to equal the fuel flow. It's really simple. Say we needed, uh, say we needed 60 pounds per hour for that. We just come in here, go to the 47 to 53 range, just set it to 60. And then I like to just kind of feather this in where it makes sense, right? Like you would expect that it's going to take more nitrous. So you could do something here too, like bring this down, bring this up. So when it crosses 50, you actually get 60. There's all sorts of ways you can do this. And this would be a pretty common shape. You know, you would you kind of see something like this. Uh, it's rarely perfectly linear, and the tails are usually flat. Um, not every case, but uh, just something to, to definitely take consideration of. Um, for me, timing-wise, I like to pull 2 degrees per 50. Uh, I think Jay's spraying 200 here, so he's got actually 9 degrees out, um, purely from a, a little bit of safety standpoint. Um, but closed loop did a really good job here. It held a really nice uh, air-fuel air ratio for us, and we just needed a little bit of extra correction. So base fuel plus the dry fuel needs to equal the fuel flow if your target AFR is matching correctly. All right, that's it for this one, guys. It's nice and short, but uh, the information is still really handy. So 
Have a good one. Leave me some comments, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will catch you guys next time.